Hello, and welcome to a YouTube video on double proportioning for Trimble Business Center, TBC, version 410 and later. Double proportioning complements the single proportioning routine introduced in TBC version 4. The most likely use case for it will be reestablishing lost section corners. For example, this is a survey plan for southwestern Colorado in the United States and it is an example of the public land survey system. In the public land survey system, each of the sections are measured in chains with bearings demarcating each of the property lines between sections. Double proportioning in TBC, if we have lost this section marker between sections 3, 4, 9, and 10, but we have found a marker to the north, west, south, and east, using these record distances, and comparing them to the measured distances, so the inverse between the east and western point and the north and southern point, we will proportion the difference between the measured distance according to the plan or the record distances, and the proportion lines will follow the rum line, which is a line of constant azimuth, and we'll use the cardinal equivalents of the bearings to the north, south, east, and west, in order to proportion out the missing section corner. Here we have our project. These are RTK vectors, our northern point, eastern point, southern point, and western point. And it is a corner here that we are going to proportion. So double proportioning can be found on the CAD ribbon under Kogo. If you're familiar with single proportioning, this will be familiar to you. Um, for calculation type, in most situations, the geodetic calculation type is the type you should use. It will give you the best results. So here we have our four directions, north, east, south, and west. So we'll starting with the north position. Here I can click on the plan view on the point. I'll left click on the point, and it's entered in here. I could also type in the point ID for azimuths in Triple Business Center. You can enter either the azimuth or the bearing. You can use uppercase or lowercase letters for the bearing, and you can use spaces or you don't have to use spaces. It's up to you. TBC is quite smart. So our bearing is north, 0 degrees, 27 minutes west, and our distance 1 is 40.06 chains. My project unit is in US survey feet, but the plan that we're working off of is in chains. TBC now supports the chain unit. Woohoo! That makes this quite a bit easier. Um, for record distances, we are using ground distances. And for our starting point ID, let's go with 10,000. This will be the point number or point ID of the point that is created from the double proportioning. You can choose the layer you want it to go in or the feature code to give it. I won't worry about either of those. Default is fine. But I will choose to create lines so we create line work here. And I will have a report generated as well. Next, for the southern direction, that's this point down here. And our azimuth is north, 0 degrees, 7 minutes east. And our distance is 39.04 chains. Now to the east, that's this point here. Our azimuth or our bearing there is north, 89.50 west. Oh, I put a dot in there. And our distance is 80.05 chains. Now to the west, I have this point here, 340600A. Our bearing that way is south, 89.41 west. And our distance is 40.13 chains. All right, there's all four of our directions done. The little green boxes signify that. And the triangles here in the plan view signify which direction that is. So it's a nice visual indicator that the right numbers have been entered in the right boxes or the right point IDs have been selected. Now let's go ahead and hit apply. So there's our report. Here on the double proportioning report, we have our project information. We have the calculation type we used. We used geodetic. For We have our north and south point and the line between that. The geodetic forward and reverse azimuths, these are the azimuths that follow the geodesic line between the two points. Our geodetic azimuth is the line of the rum line 
or the path of the azimuth of the rum line. And we have our measured grain ground distances and our cardinal equivalents. Same for the east and west. We have a nice blurb here that gives a summary of how the double proportioning works. And here we have our point coordinates, northing, easting, elevation, latitude, longitude, height, point statistics, scale factors, and convergence angles. And we have these, this is the important section to pay attention to in the report for your QA, QC. We have our north and south record segments, our record distance, our cardinal equivalent. And here we have the north-south proportion factor. This is the ratio between the record distances and the measured distances. So if this is a number that's not very close to one, that means either your markers do not match the plan very well, which could be an issue, or you could have selected the wrong point number or something like that. So this is the big takeaway here. And on the last page, we have our proportion segments and information about those, grid and ground distances, geodetic azimuth, and we have a good sketch here. Back here, I'll show you, we have our point 10,000 and our four lines created. There's the new double proportioning routine in TBC. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or there's something I missed or there's something else that you'd like to know, please let me know in the comments. Let me know if you liked the video. Let me know if you didn't like it. Thanks for watching.